Howdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hajime no Ippo chapters 1458 through 1462. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons, and because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little Bubba Kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So. Well, last time I covered uh, Hashime no Ippo, we wrapped up the second round of the um, Rosario Mashiba fight. So let's get to um, this chapter, see what's in store for us today. Round two is over. Mashiba asserts his dominance. That chopping right, it had absolutely perfect timing. Uh, why do you have to pull it short at the end there? Uh, did you think he'd stop because it was right at the gong? He never, um, he'd have never cared about something like that before. And this chapter is titled Bashiba Chant. You've got the flow. Keep going just like that. Get him in the next round. Um, the champion's attacks were bounced back again and again and again. The challenger is more than enough for the world. And just listen to this crowd. Didn't didn't Bashiba just now make eye contact with you? Yes, he did. What's that mean? Um, what did you signal? Oh, no, I just I just gave a thumbs up. Um, uh, oh, so. Let's see. There's no way um, uh, her big brother would be paying attention to me. He was definitely just looking at Kumi-san. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, he says um, what he's saying, um, according to the translation notes, um, means demon, but is pronounced the same way as big brother. <laughs> Evo! Well, at any rate, how's it look from a uh, pro's perspective? How's this match going to turn out? Still early, after all that. Um, after all, that was only uh, the second round. So you're saying he can't get complacent? No shit, he can't get complacent! What the fuck you mean? Everyone, we need to cheer. Send him your strength. Yosh! Mashiba! Mashiba! Well, the guy keeps on cheering for Mashiba. But it's cheering... I don't know if cheering gonna be enough, though. We'll see. It's round three, and a Mashiba chance is spurring him on. Ah, title the chapter. The challenger heads straight to center ring. The champion hasn't left his corner. He's standing there without moving an inch. What's going on? Is something wrong? Did he lose his will to keep fighting? Well, let's get to let's get to the next chapter and see what the fuck is going on with uh, Rosario. A strange occurrence at the start of round three? Just what is Rosario planning? Uh, the champion ha hasn't moved. And this chapter is titled A Wicked Invitation. Dude, Rosario is looking scurry. Like, you don't want to fuck with a gangster like him. Like, seriously. Rosario's a straight up gangster, man. It's not, he's now moving slowly. His back, um, his back is gliding along the ropes. Somehow, um, I get what he's doing. He's gonna bust out something bad. Yeah! I love it, my boy knows! He knows! It's unfair. Why am I the only... <sighs> life isn't fair, Rosario! If anyone knows how much life isn't fair, it should be you, my dude! Um... It's unfair. Why am I the only one getting hit? That's cheap. It's unfair. 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 Oh, I love this aura. It's great. Wait, is the, is the monster coming out? Woo! And a left um from long range. This distance is all Mashiba. Uh, he's shooting his left like he's at a firing range. Wait, yeah. Rosario's bowing him. This is a total setup. Um... He figured if he uh, stuck to the uh, he stuck to the ropes, then Mashiba rushed in on him. Too bad Mashiba's uh, used to that kind of thing. No way he's falling for it, dude. Um, you so unfair, dude. The monster gotta be coming out of Rosario soon. It's gotta be. And also, what 
Kawa. Like, how dare you go this hard? It is just beautiful. This shadowing man is just, mm, I'm sorry, it's a shot. This shading man is just everything. Woo! Like, it's crazy. I've been saying this for a minute. Like, go watch my Patreon videos and you'll see what I mean. Because I'm doing anime live reactions on Patreon now. I've been saying it for um, a minute, and I've been saying it long before that, too. Like, anime has just become so flat. It has. Where, as, as Morikawa does in Hajime no Ippa, the way um, he shadows, uh, or, not shadows, I'm sorry, the way he shades, like, specific part, like, on, um, like, on the arm, on, um, on the fist, the way he does his shading makes it look three-dimensional. It's just wild how manga looks more three-dimensional than, um, than anime. Like, you would think anime, the way it looks right now, it looks more like a, um, well, people have described it as a slideshow, and it, I totally see where they're coming from. It looks like a fucking 2D slideshow. It does not look three-dimensional, and it's very frustrating. Man, this looks great. Ooh, ooh! That's a nice block, too. Why oh, close the gap in one shot? He's so fast. This is scary. Well, let's get to chapter um, 1460. See what else is in store. Enraged by the unfairness. Dude, life is unfair, Rosario. Um, Rosario initiates a savage rush during round three. Like, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Rosario is kind of sounding like, um, uh, part of me wants to say Vegeta. In a way, it kind of is, given very Vegeta realness. Part of me is like, this is very Frieza. But, nah, this, this is, that's what I was initially thinking. But, nah, this is very Vegeta. It, it really is. He's right on top of him. This is dangerous. Stay focused, Mashiba. Ooh, and this chapter is titled The Devil's Range. Woo! Nice! He's still calm. Um, he made distance and landed a, landed a right. And I just realized I said 1462. I meant to say 1463. I'm sorry. The freaking um, uh, numbering like threw me off on um, a manga dex. God damn you, manga dex. Uh, let's see. He made a distance and landed a right. Springs in his legs a, and a twisty torso. Um, his, uh, um, his whole body, wait, his whole body's first rate. Hell, he may, um, have better overall movement than Mashiba. Well, no shit! He's, he's made it, um, this far with that movement and athleticism. And with that killer brawler attitude, he just jumped, um, he just jumped, um, head first into a slugfest. But that ain't working at night. Um, so in other words, Mashiba's the more mature one here. <laughs> I know, it's crazy! Damn right! I see. Mashiba mature. I know Mashiba mature! That's hard to believe. If that's the case, <laughs> you should learn my example! <laughs> Simeona, that was so. That was such a burn to Sendo. Poor, my poor baby Sendo. Shut your trap, you dumbass! You're proving my point! <laughs> uh, dumbass! And again, poor Sendo, like. Poor baby! Oh, again, another right! The champion is back on the ropes! The challenger is relentless! He's completely taken the pace yet again! Man, Rosario's taken all those clean hits! But he's still standing! He's tough! No, no shit! He's a gangster! No way! He has to be taking heavy damage! Bro! He's a brawler in the streets! And he's a brawler in the ring! Like, he can take damage! He's, he's, he's taking gunshots! Which he probably has! He's taking more, way worse damage than this. And a no motion right with pinpoint precision. Woo. Ah, oh, that did it. Um, he can win it. He can win it. Go, go, go. Woo. Damn. Moikawa, this art is sick. I know people are like, well, well the page count is low. I gotta wonder why, uh, speaking of Moikawa, I wonder why this page count is so, the page count's been low for a minute. That's why I'm doing a multi-chapter live reaction like this, because the page count has been really, really low. I don't know what is going on, if there's a health issue, or if it's because of um, him getting involved in, uh, in politics as of late, but something going on. 
But damn, this art is fabulous. He's going in to end it. It's this killer left-right combo. Oh, shit, he's too close. Oh, oh, I felt that one in the face. Woo! Ooh! Dude, everyone felt it! Like, it shut everyone up! That was the punch that silenced the stadium. Damn! The challenger is down! It happened in an instant, but he took a horrifying counter. The champion looks down and undaunted. He's like, yeah, motherfucker, now what? <laughs> I love it! Rosario's was like, yeah, bitch, what? Yeah! You fucked with me, and now I'm fucking with you harder. Um, the air arena has fallen silent. One, two, and in response to this deafening silence, the count echoes through the air. Shitty got got. <laughs> I love Sendo for saying that. At close range with that positioning, a southpaw's right hook is extremely difficult to see coming in over your shoulder like that. Ah, uh, watch it, Basan. No way, this can't be. A punch you don't see coming is the worst. This is bad. Three. Four, get up, you can't let it end like this. Five, um, you fucker, get your, of course, get your goddamn hands off of her. Um, dude, she doesn't have to, Cooley's the one that has his hands on, on, um, on Ippo. Bro, you are dumb, but hey, at least it's getting him up. He's conscious, don't worry about me, stand up, stand up. Dude, I love that he just knocked uh, Kubi's hands off of him. But yeah, it's like, bro, if I don't give a fuck about Kubi, just get the fuck up. Six, I went down? Well, yeah, you went down. He's up. Seven, eight, the power of Siscon, man. It's the power of Siscon. But he's unsteady on his feet. I can do this. Continue. And of course the champion is back on the attack. Um... Well, run away, you can't trade punches right now. Will he finish it here, or can the challenger hang on? Clinch, clinch, take some distance. All right, let's get to, um, I think the next chapter is, yeah, we're at 1461. We've got a couple more to go. Mashima goes down in the third round. The challenger took the initial pace, but the champion is on the attack. Any damage? Um, definitely, definitely, yeah. If he didn't know, he went down. I gotta wonder if uh, Mashima has a concussion or something. Stay calm. Um, ooh, and 1461 is titled Assault. The Flicker, he's using his left to take dis uh, distance. Good, keep doing that. I love you, Sendo. I do. Dude, he dodged that so fast. But the champion closes in on him in an instant. Um, he's sticking to his chest and refusing to let him back away. He fires back. Wait, hold on. Yeah, here we go. But the champion isn't stopping. Woo! Getting dragged into a slugfest is always our prerogative. Ha uh, uh, He's been pushed into the corner. He's in trouble. Woo! Mashima in trouble. Mashima san. Woo! Oh! 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 I felt that. Oh! Oh! I felt that. Damn! Damn, Orikawa. This is on page six where um, Rosario's uh, head just whiplash, or Rosario's, you know, neck whiplash. Damn! Damn, Morikawa, I felt that. Woo! I can't be the only one that felt that. Oh, my God. See, this is what I mean by, um, uh, by manga, like, having a more of a three-dimensional effect. Like, you could, you could really feel it. You can feel it coming off the page. Like, anime, you are not feeling it lately. It's been like this for a minute. Like, I've been saying, I've been saying since, like, 2018-ish, maybe, like, late 20, did I say late 2017? Maybe late 2017, nah, I'd say, yeah, 2017, 2018-ish. Anime's been in a dark age. It's been horrible. It really has. But I say anime's coming out of it? There's some that are slow. Some anime has. There's been some diamonds in the rough. I will say that. But man, like as a whole, woo! It's still in that dark age. As a whole, it is still. Especially when it comes to manga anime adaptations, it is still in that dark age. 
It is. Manga is, uh, on the other hand, like, what we're seeing here, it is still, we are like in the second manga, uh, modern manga renaissance. We are. There hasn't been anything to, like, there's been, like, chapters where it's like, oh my god, we're going to trigger a third? But no, we're still in the second manga, modern manga renaissance. And of course, Murata is the one that triggered both of them. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Damn, Mashiba. Woo! A right upper to that uppercut, man. That right uppercut. Like, I love it. I love when we get panels like the one in, um, with, uh, uh, Rosario really d with that counter and this one though. I would say this one, you feel it a lot more though. Holy shit. And this time the champion is on the mat. If you get hit, then you hit. Wait, if you get hit, then you get hit back. What a turn of events. Two, three, um, up, four. Uh, shut up. Ooh, he's up. He's telling the ref he could continue. God damn it, he got back up. And his damage? Um, Mashima, don't lose focus. Stay breath, stay focused. Uh, the ref says to continue. What will happen now? Who can even guess? This match is awesome. Don't let up. Go for it now. Take him down. The belt's right there. Take it. Go, go, go. I don't know about that. This this does give Vegeta realness. Mashima ain't no Goku. No, 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 no. He ain't no Goku. But damn, Mashiba really giving that Vegeta realness. I'm talking about, um, like, uh, uh, pre, I would say pre, obviously pre-cell Vegeta, duh. Oh, well, you say pre-Frieza era Vegeta? Pro I would say at least Saiyan Saga Vegeta for sure. Maybe even some Frieza Saga Vegeta. But at least, th this is definitely for Saiyan Saga Vegeta. It really feels like Saiyan Saga Vegeta. Both fighters stare each other down from a distance. Are they simply being cautious or... Go! Oh, what are you waiting for? They can't. Damage was steep. They don't have the energy to push forward right now. Th that's fine. Use this time to recover. Sorry, don't overheat. What's going to happen? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. And back at it. Woo! Both of them at the same time. They press forward like they're going to end it. And they're at the distance where their punches can reach. Um, oh, uh, whoa, and there's the gong. And the referee pushes between them like he's preparing for the worst. God, this is so stressful. Take a breath. Seriously, I'm forgetting to breathe. You okay? Oh, I need air. And, and it, after an exchange of downs, the white hot third round is over. What an incredible match this is already turning into. And we're not even out of the early rounds yet. Damn, seriously. Okay, now we're at 14, um, 62. Let's see. Let me make sure this is the right chapter. Okay, here we go. Um, at the end of round three, Mashiba takes down the champion with a right uppercut. First class offense and defense. This is the world. Gather your breath. Stop any bleeding. Um, this will be, um, an integral one minute. Both can't scra a scrambling. Oi, move. Eh? Eh? Switch seats with me. They're the same price anyway. Huh? What are you saying? Dude's like, you really want to fuck with me now? <laughs> okay. Ta and chapter 1462 is titled Hairstyle. I can't predict what'll happen. Explain what's going on. You're a real pain in the ass, ain't ya? What's going to happen now? So what you think? Uh, um, I don't know. What? If you two are more similar creatures to Mashiba and Rosario, if anything, you should explain for me. Similar creatures? Meaning what? <laughs> Me, they're a bunch of fucking dumbass muscle heads. That's, or not dumb, uh, not muscle heads, I'm sorry. They're a bunch of dumbass delinquents, that's what. Good job on the counterattack. Um, the whole arena was shaking after that. What, what did I, what did I take? A right hook. The second you stepped in deep, you threw a super high speed hook over your shoulder. It was unavoidable. It's not something you could even practice for during sparring. It's a punch thrown in the spur of the moment. It's extremely hard to predict and even hard to see. I get it now. Spur of the moment, huh? So he's that kind of guy. I'm gonna have to go off, off book. Oh, no shit, you gotta go off book here. You're dealing with a fucking gangsta. When you're dealing with gangsters like this. That's what, you know, that's what, um, 
he had it was talking about here. Um, and especially in terms of like Sendo, you're dealing with a del you're dealing with delinquents, well, delinquents slash gangsters. When you're dealing with them, and I, I talked about this in uh, um, in Blue Lock with uh, um, with uh, uh, with Kingdom. Well, I, I talked about it earlier with Kingdom, but uh, in Blue Lock today, I'm gonna bring up Kingdom here today too. So like the thing is, is when you're dealing with like delinquents, um, gangsters, bandits. In the case of uh, um, Yatamwa, um, uh, Mountain Tri people. You're dealing with like off the book. You're dealing with unorthodox. And when you're not, and when you're dealing with that, they are the unexpected. They are the wild cards. Like you don't know what to expect. And when you fight with those kinds of uh, um, kinds of fighters, you can't use textbook. You have to throw the textbook out the window because they, they can, they're prepared for it. They, when you use textbook, they're like, fuck your textbook, punch. <laughs> God, Kingdom, oh God, I'm still fucking pissed off. With Blue, I'm pissed off about Blue Lock because of Shidao being ignored. I'm pissed off at Kingdom for Yatamla and Conky being ignored. Oh God, okay. Anyways, let's keep going here. Um, This is too much. It's unfair. Whoa! What? It's unfair. So unfair. I'm done holding back. We go in Super Saiyan. Let's go! Whatever it takes. No matter what I do. No matter how I do it. In the end, I just have to be the one on his feet. Dude, we're going Super Saiyan. Let's go! Seconds out. Hmm? He totally changed his hairstyle up. He kept attacking, but kept getting knocked back. Even though we got a. I know. I know you Latinos are flipping out because. Especially with this, because uh, um, in Latin America, Dragon Ball is like a religion. So, seeing like a Super Saiyan Rosario here is probably like, they're like, yes! Yes! <laughs> they're like, yes, this is something we would do! <laughs> if we could go Super Saiyan in the boxing ring, yes! <laughs> we would do it, especially when we're backed into a corner like this. There's nothing else we could do. Yeah, let's go, Super Sand. I know, I know you. I know the Latinos are thinking. I'm not Latina. I'm not a Latina. But I, based on my interactions, especially as of late, with um, with the um, our neighbors south of the border, I know you guys are probably thinking this. You guys gotta be thinking this. You gotta be. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Please tell me if I'm wrong that you would that you wouldn't be doing what Rosario is doing. Like, seriously! Let's be, I would totally be, Latin American or not, I would so be doing this. If I could do, go Super Saiyan like this with my hair in the boxing ring, I would fucking do it. I would. I so would. Cause look, I, I gotta read this part here. He totally changed his hairstyle up. He kept attacking, but kept getting knocked back. Even though he got it down, he got down um, straight back. He must be pretty pissed off. Yeah! Let's hope his hairstyle is the only thing that changed. This is Super Saiyan! Similar creatures. Wait, what's this? It feels like the air around him has changed. Dude, he's got Super Saiyan! He's got Super Saiyan! He has gone Super Saiyan! Let's be real! Round four, let's go! Um, were they able to recover from the da their damage during the break? Um, have they changed up their plans on attack? Uh, plans of attack? Just what's going to happen now? Dude, Rosario is living your dream. Latin Americans? Uh, Latinos? Rosario, who is Puerto Rican, so yes, he, I would consider, he's Hispanic, flesh Latin American, whatever. He is living your dream right now. He is. He is becoming a Super Saiyan in the boxing ring. The champion rushes straight in. He's sticking to a close range. Uh, correct me. I'm making a joke, but seriously, correct me if I'm wrong. If he is make, if he is living your dream right now, I I know. I, I <laughs> he's living my dream for real. I would want to go Super Saiyan in a boxing ring too. He's sticking to a close range fight until the bitter end. That's the same dash uh, he did at round one. Rosario isn't changing anything up. What about Mashiba? Is he going to um, keep sticking? Wait, is he going to uh, stick to keeping a um, distance and pushing him off? 
All right, let's get to um, 1463. Um, his hairstyle isn't the only thing that changed. He's inviting the same as before. Dude! See, even like, even my boy notices it too. Round four, um, Rosario makes it, uh, a mad dash towards Mashiba. Um, Mashiba seems ready to slug it out too. Um, he's planted his feet, um, his meeting Rosario on, uh, he's meeting Rosario on his own turf. And, um, 1463 is titled Head and Fist. This will be a fight to the bitter end. Um, stay calm, wait for him to come to you, then strike. Uh, will he, wait, will he come with a right to, um, a right? A left? Yes! He's leading with his head. Hey, when in doubt, I'm telling you, this is just a straight up trope. When in doubt, headbutt. Watch out! You held it back! Now take some distance! Ooh. Yo! The Super Saiyan Rosario! Let's go! Their legs got tangled up! Oh no! Um, on purpose? Well, that's... Well, that will happen against the Southpaw. And the champion doesn't stop! Um... Uh, another headbutt! Woo! His head and fist fly forward at the same time! What a pain! Again? Ooh! Woo! He stepped on his foot! The challenger stumbles as he um, jumps back. Is it, um is he in trouble from the champion's barrage? And that one? On purpose. As I said, his hairstyle isn't the only thing that changed. He's much rougher than before. He went from bad boy to downright evil. Yes! The translation goes in it too! He really looks like Super Saiyan here! That is Super Saiyan Rosario! He is Super Saiyan Rosario! I'm glad the translation don't put it out. Like, to, I love, love that Takamura is saying this. He is a Super Saiyan. My boy is a Super Saiyan. Uh, that's a headbutt. I said watch out. Whoa. This is Super Saiyan Rosario. I love it. He's straight up said, hey, the hairstyle ain't the only thing that changed. No. He went, dude, this shit is wild. That is a Super Saiyan. That is a Super Saiyan. Oh my God, I'm so, so down for the Super Saiyan realness. I am down, I am down for the Super Saiyan realness. I am down for it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe um, to Nerdigan Zing. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Hajime no Info content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.